Hey guys, welcome back to another card review. So, lately I've just been sitting around thinking like, okay, what the hell card can I review? I don't, I don't know, I'm running out of ideas. So, like usual, I have people that I like to watch who also do card reviews, and that's their main thing on their channel. And, uh, of course, uh, Lexus just put up this video about this card coming out, and I don't care because I just don't. And it's called Card Advance. So I'm just going to be looking at this card because I, you know, I kind of talked about it with my friends, but I never really got a chance to sit down and talk about it with you guys. So, Card Advance is a normal spell card that reads, look at the top five, look at up to five cards from the top of your hand. I would just look at five cards from the top of your deck because why would you want to look at any less, but whatever. Then place them on top of your deck in any order. You contribute, summon one monster in addition to your normal summon slash set this turn. You can only gain this effect once per turn. All right. So, people have been going back and forth with this card, what deck you should play it in, what deck can play it, is it really that good? And, I am going to go with, no, no, it's not, it's not, it's, n it's not that good, no. Alright, and I'm going to go into detail about why I don't think it's that good, why I think the other card's better than it, and why you probably shouldn't play it. Alright, so, looking at the top five cards your deck. Interesting, interesting. So you get to look at the top five and place them in any order. Like, what? What? Look at the top cards of your deck and put them in any order? That has never been done before. You know, like, you can organize your cards and then if you're running the correct deck, you can make a big eye. Big, big eye. Like, you know, exceeding to big. But wasn't there another big eye that's not big eye? What'd he do? He. Flipped, and you looked at the top five cards you deck, and then you put them in any order. Oh my god! So that's that's been done before. That's been done before. So people just in their pants over looking at the top five cards of the deck and put them in the order. Oh, it's so good! Oh yes, yeah. No, it, it's been done before. It's not amazing. Uh, of course, with big eye, you got to be flipped. It costs your normal summon, and yeah. So I'll give this one a notch up above big eye. The flip guy, not 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 the C, no, not him. He's good. <laughs> this the, right right there. All right, all right. So let's look at another card that pretty much does almost the exact same thing as Card Advance, except a tweak, a little bit of difference. So let's look at an old 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 card called Public Organization or Pigeon Holding, whatever. And this card says, you look at the top three cards in your deck and you return them in any order. What well, are you probably thinking? Daniel, card advance is five. This public organization is only three. I mean, clearly, you know, five is better than three, so that must mean that it must be better. And I will say, no, you are wrong. It is not. And the reason why, in my opinion, this public organization beats card advance is because it, it's a freaking quick play spell. Yes, it is a quick play spell. So, with card events, it's a normal spell. So, you play it, you look at the top five, you organize them in any way, and then what? And then what? Unless you're playing Upstart or Reckless or something, you're not going to get those cards immediately. But with organization, it's a quick play spell. So, you set it, you scare the shadow of your opponent, you make it look like some back row. And then if they don't hit it, or if they do MST it, you can always just chain it, but during your opponent's end phase, add to base spell book organization, look at the top three, okay. Well, let's see, I want th this card on top, then these two, then you put that, your turn passes to you, <gasps> draw phase, <gasps> I drew the card, I, 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 oh my god, how did I, oh my god, how did I know I was going to draw that? <laughs> so, there you go, I think that spell book organization is better than card event, so, now in order is Big Eye, Card Advance, Speckle Organization, Public Organization. All right, but what about that little bonus brownie effect? You can tribute summon one monster in addition to your normal summoner set this turn. Oh my god! Who the fuck tributes like that? Now, that, that's the problem. Who, who does that? If it said you get an additional normal summon, then oh, hell to the yes. Sure, that works. You know, if it said normal additional summon, yeah. Hell yeah, I play it. You know? Oh well, yeah, I'd be like, normal summon, do whatever, look at the five five cards, oh, I get an additional summon. So, it's like, look, it's like, it would be like playing, you know, 
Big Eye and Double Summon at the same time. That'd be awesome, but it doesn't. It says Tribute Summon. So, what decks Tribute Summon like that? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. You know? Uh, will Monarchs play it? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe maybe Klee put? They, they, could, they could play it. But do you really need to neg yourself and look at the top five? Well, that's another thing. Is that you're not getting anything. So, so yeah. That's that's another thing. There's a reason why these three cards are lower. Lower. I'll get to that in a second. But yeah. So you get an additional tribute. So, you know. Clip puts like the pendulum and then tribute. So you get an additional tribute. Okay. Mm. But tell me right now. What decks tribute like that? Some people are saying like, oh, oh my god, it's so good in Selvins, Selvins, oh my, ah, ah, little, little, no, okay, once again, with pigeon holding, I mean, you gotta wait a whole damn turn, unless you're gonna go card advance, organize, then summon, and then excavate, so it's okay in that deck, but, you know, you're really not taking advantage of that secondary effect, because I don't believe that, you know, Selvins tribute, so... So let's move on to the reason why Big Eye, Pigeon Holding slash Organization, and Card Advance are not that good. And you probably shouldn't play them. Because not only do they not net you any advantage, they're a neg. They're a neg. If I have five cards in my hand and I play Card Advance to look at the top five and organize them in any way I want, yeah, I can, oh, I'm going to organize the top five and I'm going to draw them to exactly what I want. But yeah, that's awesome. But now I only have four cards in my hand. You just necked. Yeah. So, there's one last card that I want to put on my list of organizing slash looking ahead and doing it. And I think it's the number one out of all of these, all of these, all of these. Pot of duality. Pot of duality. Why would I go ahead and play card events? Look at the top five. Put them in any order I want. And then neck. When I could just play Pot of Frickin' Duality. Pot? Sure, I gotta give up my spell stuff, that's fine. But, you know, I'm trying to, you know, look ahead. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to look ahead. Pot. I get to look at the next three cards and I get to get one of them and put it in my hand. Yes! It's a zero out. Finally, one of these cards that's not a neg. Now, if you want to use card advance in combination with Pot of Duality, more power to you. You can go ahead and do it. You can go Pot of Duality, see the top three, get one, then card advance, and then organize it. Because, of course, Pot of Duality, you're going to shuffle, of course. But, you know, or you can do this. You can card advance and then get, you know, look at the five and then, you know, organize the three and then go ahead and pot and then go ahead and grab one of those that you just put and then you shuffle something. I don't know. I don't know. But, pot. Pot, pot of Duality, in my opinion, is the best one still, you know? The three that I just previously discussed, they're next. They don't bring anything new to the table. All they do is let you get organized for the upcoming future, you know? But with Pot, you can go ahead and grab one now. Now. Yeah, you can go ahead and card advance and put that dark hole on top of the deck, and then your opponent kills you. Or you can pot, grab the dark hole right damn now, and slap that sh bitch on the field and wipe it. Alright? And you zero out. It's not an egg. Pot's not an egg. You zero out. There's a reason why it was the two at one point. It's a good card. It is a good card. At the sacrifice of your special summons, you get to look three cards ahead and grab one of them. That's beautiful. Pot is still good. Card events is meh. And yeah. So that's all I got to say about this card. <laughs> so tell me what you guys think about this card in the comment section below. Uh, any decks that you think will play it and uh, if you'll play it. So thank you for watching all my videos. Thank you for all the supports. And I will see you next Tuesday with another card to look at. I'm not sure what we're looking at yet. There, there's so many cards. Like, there's a lot of cards. There's a lot of new cards that I need to look at and talk about, but right at that time, I don't know. I'll probably just, as soon as, you know, Monday rolls around and I record a day ahead, I'll just be like, uh, you, let's talk about you. So, yeah. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. And I'll see you guys in the next card review. Thanks for watching.